Oh, so she start recording right when she's about to go pee or something? Hey, Daddy, no jumping, no jumping, you're lethal, no jumping. Damn nails can slice to a goddamn piece of wood, no jumping. I am, I am extremely strict on her not jumping on people because they can really mess you up. Like her nails and teeth are so sharp. I, I'm, I'm, I think it's because of what type of dog she is. I forget what kind of dog she is, but she's, she's every kind of badass dog you can think of. And as a result, she has razor sharp nails and razor sharp teeth. And she jumps on you, you're, you, you, you get hurt. She steps on you and you get, you get hurt. Oh, dang, that hurt my feet. <laughs> I'm just making this video just to record her playing around a bit. Recording her while I clean up the yard a little bit. Little daddy. Hey daddy. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> She's just eating around and I'm just spinning around following her. <laughs> She's over there drinking some water she found. <laughs> He's trying to jump on the porch. I don't know if that guy called my camera. I started get. I started trying to jump on the porch. She just. Ah, oh, she's eating something. She's eating a piece of trash. So I forgot what's there. So yeah. Depending on what it is, depends on if I'm gonna let her just keep chewing on it. Well, that's her drink now. Okay. But you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna let her keep eating on that. Because she is teething. She is a teething puppy. And these, I'm about to sell these. They're canna lilies and the young. And I'm trying to sell my century plants, but nobody nobody wants them anymore. Last year they wanted them like crazy. Now that I have a now that I have a bunch in stock. Oh nobody wants them now. So it's up to my canna lilies to provide me with currency. <laughs> Do a little miniature side business. Uh, sorry for that mess. I am working on that. Uh, I'm not really explaining why the yard is in such distress. Because it's not very good. And I'm just not going to tell anybody on the internet why. All I will say is that I'm working on getting it cleaned. Working on making this yard nice and neat again. Working on getting a lot more back so I can cut all that grass. And get my tree back to where I can sit under it again. Speaking of which, I'm going to walk over there right now. It's going to kill my feet to walk over there now because of the hay, but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna walk over there. Oh, the briars. The briars. Yeah, this tree. There was a sh there was a crap ton of trees and bushes in this field. There still is a bunch. But I did not cut this one down because it was just too perfect. It has no leaves right now because, oh, and it's got disease. 
This tree has a disease. Dang it. I hope it makes it. I hope this tree makes it, man. But yeah. Whole little area would be my little place to sit. But anyway. I'd be wondering, why is there a bunch of hay in the, in the field? Well, many decades ago it was a hay field. Then it was a cow field. Then it was a horse field. And then it was just a field. This still is just a field to this day. But once you plant hay in it once, that's all it needs. You never have to care for hay again. Hay will sprout up and hay will live on for generations. In fact, if you see a single stalk, like say this, this little piece right here, you see this one little piece right here that Dolly just run right over. Uh, in the middle of the woods, that's because hay grows wild from farmer planted seeds. The hay, like the seeds will go up in the air, the wind will blow it, and it'll land in the woods and start growing, making wild hay. But anyway, yeah, this was just a video, just documenting Dottie. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.